Hello, my name is Jean Cropper. I grew up in a family of engineers. My dad was an engineer, my grandfathers were both engineers, my great-grandfather was an engineer, and my mother was really good at problem solving. So I learned from all of them about building things and materials and grew up making things. My dad taught me to use a bandsaw when I was 10 and we built bookcases together. He taught me electronics so I could solder wires together and build a circuit. And so building things, making things, learning about materials was something I grew up with. I studied math and science all through uh, high school and my parents encouraged me to do that so that I had lots of choices in, in work. But there's lots of different areas of engineering and some you've probably never heard of. Now my dad wanted me to be an engineer, but straightforward engineering wasn't quite right for me, so it took me quite a while to figure out where, where I wanted to be in the profession. And I studied physics and fine art at university, and I ended up going into art and worked for several years before I gradually found my own profession now, which is a mix of both creative fields and, and engineering. And I'm actually a paper engineer. Now, you may have never heard of paper engineering, which would make perfect sense. There's only a hundred of us in the world, but if you see some work, I'm quite sure you'll understand what it is that I do. Have you ever seen a pop-up book? Well, have a look. This is a pop-up haunted house, and you can see that it's made from uh, paper and a paper engineer builds structures out of paper. And you need to know some math because each of these need to be the same height and this dimension needs to match this and this dimension needs to be matched to that. So there's many things that need to be quite, quite precise when you're building out of paper. And paper engineering also allows you to make lots, lots of fun stuff. You can make pop-up dragons. You can make pop-up DNA molecules, a double helix out of paper. And then in commercial jobs, I can do pop-up buildings. So this is a brochure and the back cover, this back cover, this part, and here is all one sheet of paper that's folded in quite a complex way. I'll explain what, what you do to make this happen. First of all, uh, it's a pop-up of a building by Palladio, and the building is just outside of Venice, and Villa Rotonda. The First I did the drawing of the building itself as a black and white line drawing, and then I divided that line drawing into three sections for three different layers of the structure. If you look at it sideways, you can see the different layers there. And I also needed to figure out how to build that structure, where the tabs were that would join the different parts of it together to make it work. And the, the work of just designing the structure takes about two days for something complex like this. And then I would make uh, handmade mock-ups first of all, and then I would make electronic artwork from that. And then I collaborated with other people to make the commercial piece, because in this case we needed to make 500 of them. So I did the artwork, and then I instructed the graphic designer uh, and handed her my electronic artwork for the shape. And she translated my illustration into color. She was doing the design and the type and the images that would go on my structure. And I also instructed the printer how to print it, so the, the color of the paper, the shape and weight of the paper, and then the die maker. A die maker builds a die to cut and score paper for where it needs to be cut and scored to make the shape. And then the hand assemblers. So I'm a mix of an artist, a marketer, and a very technical print production person who is a paper engineer to project manage the whole thing to come together. So in engineering, there's many, many different professions that you've probably never heard of, and many of them that you might enjoy. So I hope that you have fun uh, discovering new areas of engineering that might be right for you.